Hi FlossTube, it's Brie here with Brie's Stitch and Stuff and welcome to my FlossTube channel. And happy World Cross Stitch Day to everybody out there. It's August 14th, 2020 and this is episode number 18 for my FlossTube. I am so, so excited to be here with all of you guys today and I am so thankful that you have decided to join me today and spend a little bit of your stitchy time with me. Um, I reached a thousand subscribers, you guys. I can't even believe it. It's amazing. And if I think too much about it, it's going to make me nervous and I'm not going to be able to film correctly because it kind of is freaking me out that there's a thousand people subscribed to my channel and I love it. Um, so thank you from the bottom of my heart for continually supporting me here on YouTube and over on Instagram. It is very heartwarming and um, it's been good for my soul. Um, I am going to show you guys a little bit of life updates. Um, I have some like Q&A type comment responses to my previous video that I wanted to touch base with. Um, there'll be a little, little happiness later in the video for hitting a thousand subscribers if you want to stick around long enough to check that out. And I have some whips and some plans um, coming up for the next week or two. So. Let's get started with the Q&A from the comments from last video. I do take the time to read every single comment and I also respond to every single comment. Um, even if it's a simple respond of a happy face or a heart. I just want you guys to know how much I appreciate you taking the time from your days watching my video first of all and then for taking the time to make a comment and I really appreciate it and um, it's like a warm hug every time I get a comment because um, it just gets me connect with each and every one of you in um, my own way and I just I love it and I thank you guys so one of the question one of the responses um, I had a few of them from different people it was about the um, yarn trees um, chart clips that I had showed you guys before and how I was telling you that you can't put bigger charts in it because it kind of flops well multiple people had said put cardstock behind it put it sideways maybe and put the chart this way so it'll like stay straight or you can even hang it upside down and have the chart hang this way to read it I didn't think of that at all <laughs> but I've been doing that I have a couple fuller size sheets and I've been putting it on the side of my um, hoop and having it go this way because you can even change the direction of this so you can just move it enough so that the sheet stays straight so thank you guys um, Another one was, I had talked about the pin stitch tutorial that Carla over at Carla Bean Crafty had posted about, and multiple people have said they had not heard of the pin stitch until recently as well, so that made me feel very good that I wasn't the only one left out of the Cool Kid group. So, um, if you have no idea what a pin stitch is, go check out Carla at Carla Bean Crafty's videos, and there are tons of other um, YouTube videos as well out there in the world on how to pin stitch. Um, I have pretty much switched over completely to pin stitching on a lot of my projects. Um, for me, it is keeping the back of my projects a little bit neater, not that I really care, but um, sometimes I have the problem having a lot of bulk, which um, when you go to finish stuff ends up being a little worrisome sometimes on if there's too much bulk in one area compared to another. Um, so. For me, the pin stitch has been an amazing um, tool that I've learned to help with my cross stitch journey. So thank you, Carla. Um, Bridget had asked me where I got my K's Creation Lap Stand. So I personally got my K's Creation Lap Stand on Amazon. Um, you can also check out Etsy and get them from somebody on Etsy. And um, if you go on K's Creation's website, uh, they have a spot where you can type in like your address and it'll give you a uh, nearest retailer um, that carries the lap stands. I, I haven't looked and seen if there's any by me, um, but I'm sure there are some cross stitch places that carry it. And then another like tip um, from Wendy, she had mentioned that um, keeping my satin stitching to the end of my projects 
will help keep them laying a little bit flatter or smoother. Um, if you remember, I had showed you guys my Mary Mary Needleworker by Lindy Stitches. In one of my bigger spools, I chose to do a satin stitch, and um, it's a very long satin stitch, so the stitches kind of looked droopy over, you know, while I was been working on it. I used hoops, um, so it kind of had changed to the look of it. And so she had mentioned just waiting till the end to do my um, satin stitching so that I don't have to touch them a bunch, which makes total sense. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that and just leave it until the end and then finish up my satin stitching. And then Sadie had asked, if I had finished my plant piece that I had been working on in my videos, um, I wasn't quite sure which plant piece, so I brought both that I had that have plants in it. <laughs> so um, this one is from New Leaf Crafts. Um, it's Plants Are My Friends, I believe, is the name of the um, pattern. Um, I believe they only have PDF. I think it's a, a Russian company that does them. Um, so this is this one, and I finished it in a decorative plate that I found over at Goodwill. But yeah, I love her. It called for beads, and I didn't have any, and they kind of intimidated, to be honest. So I just did French knots where the beads were supposed to be, and I think it turned out fantastic. So that's number one plant project that I finished. And then my other one was the Stitch Anomies, um on her Facebook group, it was her mystery plant sale. So this is on an 18 count Ada, and um, I didn't use any of the called for. I tried to stay with the similar colors for the plant part, but I did change all the pots. And then um, I just did a wall hanging with this, and then just some fabric backing. So those are my plant ones. I hope those were the ones you were um, wondering about, Sadie, and that um, you finally got to see them. So that is it for my comments and questions. Um, just a quick little life update, um, just because it's been like two weeks since I made on. Our schools finally made the decision on how the school year is going to look. And as of right now, and school starts next week, um, the middle school and high school will be completely at home um, doing e-learning with the teachers. And then the grade school level children will be doing um, a rotating um, schedule, so one day in, one day out. Or if you had chose all online, then they'll just continue being all online. Um, our district was nice enough to give parents the preference of being strictly all home or um, hybrid versions of being in school and being home, which is wonderful. And it's all um, with the teachers and they're doing all the programs for other kids and they're gonna be doing live classroom work. So I think it's gonna be a wonderful year. Um, I'm hopeful that it's going to be a wonderful year. I'm looking forward to the routine and to the structure again. Um, my kids thrive on structure. I think most children do. Um, so yeah, we're looking forward to that. And my oldest son got his driver's permit. And we've been driving um, with him. I, I personally don't enjoy driving at all. I don't. I work three minutes away because I hate driving so much. <laughs> like... I really don't like driving um, and of course the teaching of him driving has been falling onto me because uh, my husband works all day so um, I'm doing okay there's moments where I I freak out a little bit but <laughs> you're, if you have a kid that's learning to drive you're gonna freak out it's just a scary scary thing so but I'm super proud of him and super excited um, it took him about a whole 10 minutes to take the written test to get his permit um, he was pretty stoked. So it's been cool. It's been really cool. And then um, my middle son's birthday is this month and we're going to have a little get together with my, my parents and um, my siblings this weekend before school starts because once school starts we are choosing to stay self quarantined after that point um, just because um, one of my children is deciding to do some schooling um, in the public schools which we gave her the option. Um, that's how we chose to do it. And um, so we are choosing to self-quarantine after that point. So we're just trying to get all the, you know, last minute um, get-togethers with grandma and grandpa and everybody um, before the school year starts. So, yeah, it's an exciting, exciting times right now. Um, yeah, 
So let's go ahead and get started. Let's start talking about my whips, which is works in progress. Um, these are in no particular order. And if you remember from last video, I just mentioned that I've just been pulling um, projects that have been calling to me. I have no rhyme or reason except for this one um, as to why I'm pulling stuff out. So one of the first ones I worked on was um, Night Walk Down by the Blue Flower. I originally um, pulled this like a year ago and had it all kitted up and I ended up not liking the fabric for it. So trash the fabric, well I didn't trash it, I just put it in my, my leftover bin and um, grabbed a different piece of fabric for this and started this for Carla at Carla Bean Crafty's birthday sale, which her birthday's tomorrow I believe, no, yeah, I think it's the 15th. Um, but her hashtag is, um, I think I wrote down, black, black cat birthday sale. So um, if you're doing that stitch, add that um, hashtag to it and then you can see all the other people. And then Nicole at Divinely Designs, her floss tube, she just had a one year anniversary and they're also doing a night walk down for um, the sale. And I can't remember, I'll leave the link down below on what the hashtag is, it's like hashtag DD's something. I can't remember off the top of my head um, and I forgot to look, sorry. I just remembered it right now. So. Um, here is where I'm at. I'm normally a top left starter and I decided to start in the middle because I really wanted to work on the beautiful witch. Well, I think, I'm assuming she's a witch. I guess she doesn't have to be a witch. She just gives me a witch vibe because she has a big black cat. <laughs> so I am doing a DMC conversion. I am pretty much doing all the call for DMC that the chart is saying except for the skin and um, this color here in the sleeve the call for dmc was not working for me so i just pulled my own so that it kind of matched the picture on the cover this is on a 32 count lucana it's um a fortnight fabric and the tag fell off i can't remember it was one of their um fabric of the months but i really love her she's so pretty and look how big that cat is so cute um, so yeah, I'm really enjoying it. The color I used for the skin, let me see, what did I pull out? 840, which I think turned out really pretty um, for a skin tone. Especially with that dark, dark black hair, because it's like 310 for the hair. Um, so I thought that, and it's like a pretty brown. So yeah, I really like it. I think it looks really pretty. The um, skin tone was like a peach, but it was almost the same color as my fabric, and I was just like, well, you can't even see your outline. So that's what I went with. I love it, she's so pretty. It's a really fun one to work on, too. I love the blue flower. She has some really, really awesome designs out there. And she's like the sweetest lady. She has a floss tube channel now, so you kind of get to know her a little bit. She's really nice. Or, she seems really nice at least. <laughs> Alright, another one I worked on is Little House Needleworks Bessie. She's so cute. Um, I'm doing, I think, all the called for except for the, the word milk. I had to pull a different color because my fabric ended up blending in too much with it um, for working it. But it looks like a cow now, you guys. I'm doing this on a 40 count... Um, by Weeks in the colorway Angel Hair. But look at how cute she is. Um, so I got her cute face in. Instead of working on the K. Um, yeah, she's so fun. I, lo I am loving stitching on 40 count. And I really enjoy stitching one floss over, over the two threads. I just really like how easy it is to keep the um, threads to lay nice and flat and smooth. So I'm definitely gravitating to being able to do just one floss for sure. And I'm liking the higher counts. So I pulled out my Mira. This is my first Mira I've ever gotten. And this one is called Golden Girl Apples. I'm doing all called for. Um, called for fabric, called for floss, called for beads. I just had it all kitted up together to have everything in place. I'm starting this at the top center and 
There we go. So this is like the top edge and this is the sky and then this is starting the face. So I have decided to do one, let's see, one thread over one for the all skin. And I think I'm doing a tent stitch. Yes, in a tent stitch. And I love how smooth it looks. And this is on 32 count milk chocolate linen. It's very stiff though. I don't, I just, the pattern called for a milk chocolate um, and they only had 28 count and then they had the 30, and I don't like 28 count at all. So um, I got the 32 count, but it's like burlap it feels like. But this is fun. This skin, I can tell why people get so obsessed with doing mirrors because it's fun. <laughs> it is. Look at all the floss that you have for it. Ah. Um, so yeah, I was, I was glad I pulled her out. She was really a fun one to work on. Um, and the skin is only, I think, three colors, so it's pretty easy to kind of um, stay on track with the chart. It's not too too crazy. So the next one I pulled out again is my Hands on Design Memorial Day. And I'm using the Sulky um, threads for that. This is what the package looks like. Kathy had worked with Sulky to put together a um, set for this chart. Um, and you can find these sets on any, at any cross stitch store pretty much unless they are out. <laughs> So I'm doing this on a 32 count Lugana that I um, writ dyed myself. It was like a white and then I did some gray writ dye. And that's where I've gotten. I've just added, I finished more of the flag and it started adding in some of the grass. For some reason I kept messing up on the stripes when I was working on it and I just got sick of working on it so I put it away. I don't know why or how I kept messing up, but I just must not have been feeling as much as I thought I was feeling it. Um, but that's a good chart to follow too, and I love, I love how um, the chart is written. It's nice and easy to read, and it's big. So the next one I got on, this has been my work, my work stitching. It's Lizzie Kate, um, it's Wanted Santa 2002, and it came with the I don't know if I'll be able to use them because I think this calls for 28 count and I used 32 count. Yeah, it calls for 28 and I used a 32. So I don't know how the buttons will look on my fabric. So we'll see. We'll see when we get there. Um, and that's where I've gotten. This one is a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. So it's taking me a little bit longer, but I'm really liking it. I'm doing almost all the called for DMC in the chart except for the skin. I darkened it up. I think it was like, I don't have it in here because I started using it for something else. I think it was like, it's on my Instagram. If you go on Instagram, it has one on there. I think it was like 3864 or something like that. Um, it's just more of like a darker beigey skin tone. Um, the one that was called for was really pink and I didn't care for it. Um, this is a Fortnite fabric in the colorway Morale. It was one of their, um, fabrics of the month. So worked on him for a little bit. And then another one I worked on is my Schitt's Creek Mystery Sale, which is through, um, I don't have a cover sheet because it's through a Facebook group called The Enablers. Um, it's a private group, but you can answer a few questions and they'll let you in. Um, it does have cuss words and stuff like that in there, so if you're not comfortable with that, um, probably not the group for you, but it's nothing like inappropriate or anything like that, but people do swear. So just, some people are sensitive to that, so I just wanted to kind of let you go, no. Um, and there is a couple hashtags for this, so one of them is simply the best sale, hashtag the enablers, and hashtag the enablers X stitch. Um, I'll leave links down below, they've been fun to watch, and this is where I've gotten so far. Um, I am, I think, two behind right now because I started it late. There is, yeah, I think there's like two more motifs down here. One of them was just last night or this morning. So that's where I've gotten. And I'm just pulling um, floss from my stash that kind of go with it. So this is all things from Schitt's Creek. 
if you have not watched it yet, go to Netflix and go watch it. It's hilarious. Um, and then each little um, motif, I guess, has something to do with a different episode. So it's been fun. Like when she posts the um, week, the days, I don't know how she's doing. I don't know if it's every week or every couple days. I don't remember. Um, so, you know, like this one, the Cafe Tropical, is what we, I say. And then the... Um, apron and it tells you what episode to watch when it had the disgruntled penguin it tells you what episode to watch. you know so each one has a different episode to watch to kind of explain why that part of the sampler is in there so that one's been a lot of fun um this has been a good one where i just kind of if i'm watching i'm like been watching gilmore girls again for the eight millionth time um it's a good one just to kind of stitch with because there's not a much much to each motif, it's pretty simple. So my last whip that I have going on is in this bag. So it's my One Nation sale, but I wanted to show the bag first. It's Illinois fabric, that's where I'm from. I had found a bundle of Illinois fabric at Joann's last year, and I bought it and I had made myself a big tote bag and I had pieces left over. So I made myself a bag to go with my One Nation stitch along that I am doing. Let me get the picture out. So apparently I put it in backwards, so now you can't see the picture. All right. <clears throat> so it's One Nation by Bygone Stitches. This was released in 2010. I bought this chart last year towards the beginning of my cross stitch journey, and I just never got in. Uh, I just, I wasn't, I wasn't, I wasn't ready for it. It's big. It's Big. It's like two feet by like a foot and a half. It's huge. Um, but Janet over at Janet Jabber, she's been working on it for a while. She's getting closer to the end, and she shows it every week. And it's been it's been taunting me, so I had to start it. A sweet a sweet friend sent me a gift card to One Two Three Stitch, so I used part of that to help pay for my my supplies. So I am doing this on a 32 count Lugana, surprise, surprise. Um, and I got it in the color taupe because all the marbled fabric in this size was gonna be a lot more than my crafty budget could allow, even with the gift card. Um, so this was actually in taupe and then I ended up coffee tea dyeing it to get some of that um, marbled look to it. And I love how it turned out, it's so pretty. Um, so I'm going to go with what Janet's doing. So she has been doing one star and one state every week. And then if you have time, you just fill in the um, stripes and then the blue. So I'm doing this one floss over two threads on the fabric. And I got Delaware. And what's nice too in the um, chart, it tells you when each state became part of the country. Which is kind of cool. But yeah, I really like it. The only thing, the, um, sorry, my eyes are super itchy. The chart is very tiny. <laughs> the, the, um, what's, you know, where it shows you where you're, where you're going with your, it's very small. And there's no grid lines. So you do have to, I, well, at least I have to double count everything, but I really like it. And I think it's turning out really good. Um, I'm not using the called for colors. I'm going with, well, let me show you. Um, I showed you guys these colors before because they're like my favorite patriotic colors there is out there. Weak Style Works Merlot. I just think it's so pretty. And then Weak Style Works Michael's Navy. Let's see. But. It's so pretty. Here, let me move this one close so you can see it. They're just a really pretty. And then I, the pattern called for, um, I think, Ecru or something like that. I couldn't find it, so I found Anchor. Their conversion was 00387. Is it going to show up? There we go. Um, but on this fabric, it looks like white, so it's really pretty. I'm really excited to be working on this. Um, so every week, every Monday, I'll pull it out. 
my goal is to do this first in the beginning of the week, get my state and my star in, and then after that, I'll pull out other um, charts that I want to work on for the week. Um, because I do want this one done, and this one, I would love to have it professionally framed. If I stick with the one state one star, it'll be done by next year, and that would be a fantastic birthday present, wouldn't it? Have my thing professionally framed for me? I've never had anything professionally framed, and the thought of the cost kind of scares me. But that is one of the pieces that I would like to be like an heirloom piece, you know? Like, we all have those ones where we start stitching, where we're like, ooh, I want this to be passed on to future generations of my family. And that one also has a stitch along. It's hashtag One Nation Sale. So, where did my bag go? There it is. Um, I have some plans for this week. Or, yeah, tomorrow. It starts tomorrow. Oh, I didn't bring it down. It's the um, fall, let's see, it's Let's, Let's Talk Autumn by Hands on Design. It's a newer chart that came out. Um, it's all over the place. There's a Facebook group called Chalk Talk um, Sale. And it's also the hashtag in the, um, it starts tomorrow. So you start stitching on it tomorrow. Um, so part of my haul was the fabric that I finally got in. I had ordered it through Be Stitch Me. Um, I got the dirty chalkboard. It's beautiful. Um, hopefully this is enough. I think it is. I tried to make sure it's a half a yard and I ended up getting in 16 count Ada. Last time I thought I got, I had told you guys I thought it was going to be, um, 32 count, but apparently I got was smarter than that and, but it's so pretty and it smells really good. So, and it's dark, but I think it's going to be light enough to where it doesn't scare me too bad to start stitching on it. So the, um, pattern is on a, like a black, so. I thought this would be a really pretty color to do. So yeah, my very first Bestitch Me fabric. I feel cool now. Everybody, everybody talks about it. My good friend, Becky loves her fabric. So I finally caved and I bought some and I texted her right afterwards. I got some! Because <laughs> I was so excited. Um, so that, that's my only plan right now. I'm going to continue working on Night Walk Down this month. For the whole month, that's going to be kind of something I work on just because um, I'm doing the sale with Carla. And then now the um, Let's Talk Autumn with the Facebook group um, Stitch Along. And, but, and then after the 15th, you can start posting pictures, they said. So I don't know which I'm going to start with. I might just start with the big one because I really like the big one. Um, there was like three different patterns in it. Oh, I wish I would have brought it down. You know what I'm talking about, though. If you look it up, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. It's been all over because it's so pretty. So we are going to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and do my little giveaway for hitting a 1,000 subscribers. And then after that, I have just a small bit of haul that I want to show you guys because um, I was able to get to my local cross-stitch shop. So for my giveaway how it's going to work. You have to be 18 or older. Please be a subscriber and don't mention anything about giveaway in the comments down below. I will delete them. Um, I really would like for these gifts that I have um, decided to spend my own money on to give to you guys and I want you guys to actually use them. Um, and I guess there's trolls out there if they see giveaway they'll enter no matter what. So I want to make sure you guys get them and not some random person that doesn't even know what cross stitch is. So I have quite a few um, and how it's going to work also real quick. I have no, normally I have no problem sending things overseas, but the last giveaway I did, I had to do overseas and the shipping has gone sky high um, right now. And I just doing a few different giveaways. I just don't have the funds right now to be able to ship overseas. So I have three different, um, PDF patterns that we can do so overseas people if you could please only um, Enter for the PDFs that would be awesome for me just um, Not as big of an expense. So and I'm really sorry about that. I just I don't get paid for any of this stuff So <laughs> it's just all coming from my pocket because I am super grateful that you guys are here So if we could just work together on that, that'd be really awesome. So my first one that we're gonna talk about is going to be a project bag that I made. Um, 
and this is what I make. So these are approximately, hang on, I'll measure it. It's like 14 inches long by like 11 and a quarter wide. So it fits the full size um, charts. Um, so here's the back, and here's the front. And then on the inside, it just has the white with the sage green polka dot. And then it has some cute little lace and then my little heart pulls that I like to add. So this one, and with it, I'm gonna stick Hands-On Designs, um, Queen Bee Flower Farm. I thought it went well with the little flowers on the, so yeah. So if you want to be entered into winning a me made project bag and the Hands-On Design Queen Bee Flower Farm, put in the word floss in the comments. I will have a word for every single price and just kind of keep track of which ones you like and then just put those words into the um, comment section and I'll do random word generator, however that works. So prize number two is a little floss bag that I made. Um, just has a really pretty green with some gray. Um, again, it has a gray zipper and my little pole. The inside has just um, some polka with different blues and greens and whites. So, and this one it measures about seven and a half by eight. So it's a good one to throw your flosses in. And then within it, I did grab some floss. I am a big Weeks Dye Works lady. So I grabbed some pretty colors from Weeks Dye Works. So the first one I got is Seagull, which is just a really pretty, I don't have anything white. So I'm gonna try to put something, oh wait, hang on. Here. Um, it's just a really pretty neutral gray. Um, the next one is Weeks Dye Works. I don't even look at it. Aztec Red. And this is more of like a, um, a raspberry kind of pink color. And then Capri, which is a really pretty um, summery blue. And Scoob, Scoobamong. I don't know, I just thought it was a really pretty green color. So yeah, so for this one, type in the word floss and you'll get these really pretty um, colors from Weeks Dye Works and a cute little floss bag. And you can put all your goodies in it, um, you know, your scissors and extra needles and all that. And then my next ones are PDFs. Anybody can enter um, if, if you are in the United States and you win this one, if you'd prefer a print copy, just let me know and we can work something out for that. Um, also, I just wanted to make a quick note on PDFs. Um, one of the um, people that I'm working with that is letting us use her shop is um, some rules for winning PDFs. So, I just want to put a public service announcement out there for it. PDF winners cannot share their chart with anyone by upload, selling, or even emailing them to other stitchers. These designers charts that have been paid for and all the PDFs are copyright, so they're, they are um, legally you can't do that. Um, please respect the designers and um, my support of these designers by not sharing the PDFs, um, but please share them while you're stitching on it, like share your stitching of you working on the projects and especially when you finish them and tag the shops to help bring more people into their shop to buy. Because all these women that I've talked to over the last week have been super nice and super helpful and their designs are wonderful. Um, so I'm happy that I'm able to um, share these charts with you guys. So the first one is through Cherry Hill. She has an Etsy shop. If you check her out, all of her, I think all of them are only PDFs. Um, so I will be able to buy one chart from her shop of your choosing after you win. And I will email that to you when if you win it. So for the word, you wanna type in Cherry. Um, please check out these Etsy shops. I will leave links down below on their um, Etsy shop so you can see what they have. Um, 
they are really really cute cherry hill has a lot of different kind of designs so i thought that would be a nice one to work with um deanna is the owner she was super sweet and kind um but there's different definitely different styles in her shop for multiple people so i thought that would be a good fit for us the next one is up to twelve dollars for luminous fiber arts um misty is over on floss tube as well here and her shop is fantastic she has she does her own fabric as well she sells dye she sells trim all the good stuff but i will be providing you with a pdf from misty shop up to 12 dollars per price and then the next one oh type in arts for her and then my last one that i have for you guys is through pedal pusher you get up to $12 as well for a PDF pattern through her shop. Um, type in Petal, P-E-T-A-L. Um, talk to Barbie. She's super excited and happy that to be able to help out with this giveaway. So thank you guys so much. Um, but yeah, definitely check out their Etsy shops if you don't know what they are yet. See which one you want to, you know, sign up for. Please do it. Um, and then... They let me go over it one more time. So if you want the floss bag, the little green one with the floss, type in floss. If you want the project bag with the hands-on design queen bee, type in bag. If you want the cherry hill PDF, type in cherry. If you want the luminous fiber arts, type in arts. And if you want the pedal pusher, type in pedal. Good luck to each and every one of you. I am super excited to um, do this for everybody. It's been a fun week trying to talk to the different designers about how it would work. Um, I'm not really sure how it works, but we have all we figured it out. <laughs> so um, I just like I did not want to have to um, not let overseas people win, and I thought PDF was a good way to go about being able to include everybody all over the world because um, I really do appreciate you guys and then real quick I had just a little bit of haul I wanted to show you because I was able to get to the cross stitch shop and I was super excited because they're just the sweetest people so the closest needle needle shop for me is tomorrow's heirlooms it's in Glen Allen Illinois and I try to get in there at least once a month look around um, or during the quarantine I called and ordered and just did a porch pickup um, I just really like their shop and the people in there. They're super kind. So I like to try to keep supporting them. So I got three different charts and I got some floss there as well when I was picking up the floss for the and the chart for our giveaway. So the first one I found is The Witch's Brew by Brenda Gervais. And this is from 2020. I thought it was really pretty and cute. They didn't have the spoons at the shop, so I need to find one because I think that's a really cute addition to the um, finish and I, I will finish it that way because I love it and then I grabbed some of my own colors um, while I was there so I grabbed gunmetal which is just a really nice witchy color and then concord which I thought was a really pretty purple I love purple <laughs> and it's hard to find purple that's pretty um, and then grasshopper for the green there's definitely more colors in here I just I think the rest of them I can just use DMC but like the purple for sure I wanted to use a variegated and in the black for sure and then the green I just think green leaves look way better personally using variegated floss because it just gives it a little extra something um, so I try to use variegated floss in my greens when I do stitches so that was one of them the next one which I didn't get any um, floss for it's not forgotten farm feeding the bees um, I don't see a year on the back for this one, so I'm not really sure. Um, but I thought it was cute. It says, pardon the weeds, I'm feeding the bees, which is, my mom gets so mad because my yard is like a weed heaven. And I'm like, I'm feeding the bees, it's all good. So, I really like this one. And then this one is, um, what is it? It's an oldie. This is how it came. And the people at the shop was telling me how they loved her charts. They don't make it anymore. It says like something and I and friends. Ease and I? I don't know. Um, I'm not really sure. But rule the night. 
and I pulled, look how cute this packaging is. Um, I pulled a couple flosses for this as well. So this is coal. And that's like a nice black, gray. Um, marmalade for the pumpkin color. <clears throat> and then bees knees for the yellow and the moon. So, and then there's a couple other like little, there's like a little bit of green in there that I need to get, but I just thought these would look really pretty on there. So I was excited for that. Um, plus, you know, I think it was from a 2002, or it was, it's an earlier publication in the early 2000s. <clears throat> and then I got my fabric from Fortnite. So the last... In July, <clears throat> their fabric of the month was Fairy Ring, and I get it in 32 count even weave. It's really pretty. It has like a yellowish coloring to it. It's just super nice and neutral. It's really pretty. Um, but yeah, I love it. This month, they, for August, They've been having issues with back orders from the company they ordered a fabric from so they gave us an option of some other fabrics that they can get right away so I signed up for I think 40 count for the month of August so we'll see and then I did an auction a couple weeks ago and I won a couple pieces I don't do the auctions all the time I just do it occasionally um, so this is a 36 count linen there's no name to it I just thought it was so pretty though. I think I'm gonna do my one of my Halloween charts that I just got on this one. It has like a blue, a blue to it. It's super pretty. I like that one a lot. And then the other one I won is like the same color but in a different fabric. And I think it's a 32 count. Let me check, sorry. Yeah, it's 32 count even weave. But again, it's the same color um, as the last one, just different count. So it looks a slightly different. But yeah, it was good. That was fun. Those auctions are so fun to do. Cause you get all worked up and excited about it. <laughs> but yeah, that is all today, you guys. So thank you so much. I hope. Um, by the next time I get here, we'll have some winners and we can get those shipped off as soon as possible. Um, not sure, you know, I've been doing about every two weeks for my filming, which seems to be working out pretty good. We'll see how um, life goes here in the next couple weeks with school and everything. Um, but yeah, it's been a lot of fun. So thank you guys so much and thank you for letting me be in your house today and thank you for coming to my home. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Stay happy, stay healthy, stay calm. Bye.